Hey everybody, welcome back to Andrina's Creation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble my new template called the Purse Box. This box is going to be a shaker purse box. This template is compatible with Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. All you have to do is head on over to my website, andrinascreations.com, and purchase your template. This template is compatible with Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio, so let's get started. This is how your template is going to look on your screen. We are going to start off with these pink pieces. This is the main base and we are going to start gluing them together. These four pieces first. First thing you have to do is go ahead and fold over your score marks for all four pieces and then we are going to start gluing. When you are gluing your pieces, the main thing is to make sure that all your score marks are lining up correctly so everything is um, formed correctly at the end. So make sure again that everything is aligned or your score marks. You can fold each piece just like this to make sure that everything's aligned. You're going to go ahead and repeat the same steps for all four pieces. Once you have them all glued together, all you have to do is glue that side tab all the way to the other tab to form a box. And then once you do this, we're going to continue to the next step. Now go ahead and lay your box flat and we are going to grab these pieces of the template. Remember, you are going to be gluing these pieces on the big rectangle side, not the small side. We're going to grab these four strips of your template and again, we're going to go ahead and fold the score marks. You're going to have two pieces with a um, tab and the other two is not going to have a tab. So first again, fold all your score marks. We're first going to start with the piece that has no tabs. So this piece is going to go all the way at the top. Okay, this is going to be kind of the tricky part. You have to make sure it is very flush to the top of the box. If you don't align this correctly, your box is not going to come out correctly, okay? So all you have to do is make sure that score mark to score mark is glued right there at the edge. If you have to fold down the strip so you can make sure that everything's aligned, go ahead and do so. Then the other one with the tab is going to go on the sides and the one without the tab is going to go on the bottom, just like you see here on the screen. For the bottom strip, you can go ahead and fold that other piece in the inside, that big tab in the bottom in the inside, so you can better maneuver how to glue this strip here so you can have better space here. And again, go ahead and glue the last strip and we're going to move forward to the next step. Your next step is going to be to go ahead and print out this white rectangle from your template. You can print it or you can use a decorative cardstock from Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael, so on. I actually did not print this. I use a decorative paper pad. And the number one thing is you need to make sure it is glued inside of your score marks and not overlapping. No score marks or everything closes correctly. Your next step is going to go ahead and glue those tabs together. Now, 
make sure again that your score marks are aligning together there is no gaps in between none of these tabs because you are going to be putting shaker pieces in here and they will fall out if you leave any openings so make sure that everything is flush when you glue those tabs i will be using hot glue for this steps to make it a faster process but you can use any glue of your choice i'll leave all the um, supplies down below in the description box Once you glued all the tabs together, you're going to go ahead and fold all the other side on top of each other just like this and make sure you again use very good glue to secure any gaps and your rectangle should look just like this, everything enclosed. Now, you're going to go ahead and put your pieces inside. You do not have to add anything inside. You can just use your regular decorative paper, but I did add some 3D images in here. I have plenty of tutorials, especially if you watch my cake topper tutorial on how to do a print and cut and cut out your images and do this 3d layer effect i will be adding sequins inside you see that cute um spoon i got it from tj's magic touch and i'm just adding um uh, sequins i'm adding beads i'm adding a whole bunch of cute stuff in here glitter and so on you can find all these supplies at dollar tree michaels joann's amazon and so on after you add everything you want in the inside you're going to go ahead and cut out that clear piece or that gray piece from the template that is going to be your acetate sheet again i'm going to leave the link down below of the acetate sheet that i'm using and this glue that i'll be using is the three in one beacons glue make sure that you put glue all around the border to make sure that the acetate is glued correctly again you don't want none of your sequin pieces to come out Now you're going to go ahead and grab the hollow rectangle from the pink pieces and that is going to get glued on top to cover everything that you just did there. You can add a little bit again of 3-in-1 beacons glue on top of the acetate so it can adhere better to the cardstock. Now go ahead and grab these three pieces of the teal template. These pieces are going to be your metallic or glitter. It is your choice. I will be using a copper metallic paper from Michaels. This come in 8x11. So I'm going to glue the bigger piece in the back. Then I'm going to glue the hollow piece in the front and the other strip on the top. Now go ahead and cut the lavender pieces of the same three pieces. These pieces are going to be your print and cut or your decorative cardstock and glue it on top of your metallic or glitter pieces that you just glued. Your next step is to go ahead and close the bottom of the box. I did add glue to all the tabs to make it more secured. Once you have everything glued, go ahead and cut out that piece from the pink layers. Um, that is going to be the bottom piece of your box to cover everything that you just did in the bottom. So no one could see like that extra piece we added for the shaker and everything looks seamless in the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and glue these two pink pieces of the pink layers. This is going to go on the side to cover everything that we did. Now, as you can see here, I started gluing before I added my ribbon. If you do not want to add ribbon to your box, go ahead and glue this piece. But I prefer to glue the ribbon before I glue this piece. I will be using wired ribbon. So I went ahead and took that piece off because like I said, I did forget to put the ribbon. 
I recommend using wired ribbon because it maintains the structure of like the handle of the purse but you can go ahead and use any ribbon of your choice I did use hot glue to put my ribbon there and make sure it's very flush and then I went ahead and glued my piece on top on top of the ribbon I did put hot glue and in the bottom of the ribbon I did put hot glue so there is no gaps in between none of this cardstock so it looks more seamless and no one can tell like how many layers you're gluing then I went ahead and went around the purse like I didn't cut the ribbon yet so I could see how long I wanted the handle and I repeated the same steps on the other side again I added hot glue first to make sure it's secured and then um, I added the piece on top and make sure that the ribbon had hot glue and I used my regular glue for the cardstock also the size of the handle is totally up to you how long or short you want the handle to be Now go ahead and grab your teal and lavender rectangles and glue them on top of each other. And once you glue them on top of each other, you're going to go ahead and glue it to the box. I feel like this step right here makes it easier than gluing each layer on top of the box because you know everything is centered when you do it this way. Your box is now complete. Now, one thing I did miss at the beginning that I just noticed here was that the way I glue my tabs when I first formed the base. I personally do not like seeing the tabs in the inside. So make sure if you do not like that look that you glue those tabs in the outside when you are forming the base. Okay. I am going to show you here another box that I made so you can see the difference of not seeing the tabs in the inside. At the end, I'm actually going to cover this just by cutting an extra piece of cardstock. You don't have to do that if you actually glue the tabs in the outside of the box so everything is covered, okay? Just make sure that you glue it there on the outside. This one's the other box and as you can see here, I also use a different type of ribbon. This one is satin ribbon. I do prefer the wire ribbon because it just stays up. But here I'm showing you that you can't see the tabs in the inside. It might be so dark because I did use black cardstock, but the tabs are in the outside. I'm showing you right here. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I can't wait to see what you guys create. And I'm going to be showing you the final result just right here. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to reach 100K on this channel. Don't forget to like and share and comment down below anything else you would like to see from me. Now, I did add a charm. I felt like that was a cute touch on this. And let me show you how that looks. To add the charm, I punched a hole with my crocodile tool and I put a grommet and then I did make this charm. I felt like this was a really cute touch here. Again, feel free to do as you please with this template. The possibilities are endless. You can add a vinyl on design in the front with like, I love you, congratulations. Again, this could be for any theme, graduation, a wedding, a baby shower gift and so on. Here is the other box that I did first. This one, like I said, I did use regular ribbon, satin ribbon. Again, I do prefer the wire ribbon. Again, guys, I hope you did guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay tuned because I have a lot more coming for you guys. And again, comment down below anything else you would like to see from me and I'll see you soon.